The People's Progressive Party Civic PPPC remembered the life and works of former presidents of Guyana, Dr. Chetty and Janet Jagan, yesterday at the Babu John Memorial site. More in this report. Thousands of stalwarts, supporters, and members of the People's Progressive Party Civic PPPC gathered at the Babu John Crematorium for the reflection and to pay tribute to the life, work, and legacy of former presidents of Guyana and founders of the PPPC, Dr. Chetty and Janet Jagan. The executive members of the People's Progressive Party Civic paid their respect during a wreath-laying ceremony that culminated the program. Prime Minister Retired Brigadier Mark Phillips made these remarks. What we're doing today is honoring the legacy of who? Chetty and Janet Jagan, the father and the mother of the nation. We are following the principles of Comrade Chetty because he believed that democracy was important for Guyana to develop. Comrade Chetty and Comrade Janet never gave up. And if you want to call it 28 years of undemocratic rule, it was 28 years of struggle, of struggle to ensure democracy come to Guyana. And with democracy, development of all the people of Guyana. We have a government today that is big on actions. More actions, less talk. That is the government in keeping with the legacy of Dr. Chedi Jagan. His Excellency the President, Dr. Muhammad Ali, reminded the audience of the dedication and the struggles of the founders of the PPP. Comrade Chedi taught us, you know, sometimes I listen and I get upset because Comrade Chedi lived for the working class. But he did not live to see the working class remain working class or remain in poverty. He lived to uplift them out of poverty. Not for us to cry every day, we're fighting for the working class. What are we fighting for the working class for? To uplift them, to uproot poverty, to remove them from poverty, to give them human dignity, to give them equal opportunity. And that is what the People's Progressive Party Civic continues to do. So the more persons in the working class who can graduate up, it is paying greater respect to the legacy of Dr. Chetty Jagan. And acknowledging the leadership of the PPP, we are celebrating the life of Dr. Jagan. Vice President and Secretary General of the PVPC, Dr. Barrett Jagdio, also spoke during the program. And the People's Progressive Party, the first party to be formed in this country, created a national awareness and organized the struggle for freedom in this country. And it is that political consciousness that led to the fight for independence. The fact that independence did not was not given to Guyana under the PPP is well documented and the reasons why because they did not want Chetty Jagan to, to come into power. He was too independent minded and not focused on the isms too much but on the development of the country and his people. And, and many of the policies that he put in place even in the period of limited self-government those policies were designed to transfer the, the wealth and to improve the lives of working people. The planter class that dominated the country was not happy about that. And then if you come through the long period of positive changes, he never gave up on the struggle to bring freedom to the country in spite of the hardships. Chetty Jagan was born on March 22, 1918 and died on March 6, 1997. He was a Guyanese politician and dentist who served as the first elected chief minister in 1953 and later premier of British Guyana from 1961 to 1964. He later served as president of Guyana from 1992 to his death in 1997. Janet Rosenberg Jagan was born on October 20, 1920 
and died on March 28, 1929. She was an American-born Guyanese politician who served as the president of Guyana, serving from December 19, 1997 to August 11, 1999. She was the first female president of Guyana, and she also served as the first female prime minister of Guyana from March 17, 1997 to December 19, 1997. She was the wife of Chedi Jagan, who she succeeded as president. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.